Okay, so let's continue our hacking right here. So let's try another another new fishing tool. This tool uh, will be called the Social Fish, uh, one of the most famous um, hacking tool actually uh, for for the fishing attacks. And as you can see right here, this is um, one of the screenshots inside this tool. It's containing. Um, uh, more than 30 templates and also you have uh, you can actually customize uh, and import your your template and we will talk about this feature in the future uh, but for now uh, as you can see it's a uh, it has uh, uh, some of the websites that we already actually explored before but uh, at this um, inside this tool you will find out uh, another another hacking scenarios with another techniques so it will be very useful for us okay so this is uh, the illustration um, uh, the illustration commands that you have to follow uh, to uh, to install this tool starting with uh, downloading the tool and after that navigate inside the, the directory of this tool of course uh, change the permissions of the of the bash script right here and run the bash script okay so let's uh, let's navigate back to my hacking machine right here and open my terminal okay so this is my ip address i don't want my ip address right now I will navigate right here and as you can see I have already actually downloaded um, this tool before uh, the social fish tool okay so I will start using this tool by by navigating inside the directory of this tool and listing all of the available files right here and as you can see this is the, the bash script that will enable us to run this tool and also we have right here the sites folder and inside this folder actually we will find all of the phishing templates um, uh, websites as uh, uh, right here inside this folder so for example if i navigated inside the netflix folder and listed i will i will find out all of the the web um, the web pages source codes right here and of course i can i can edit and um, and modify uh, everything inside this file so for example i can edit actually the design of the html uh, code and also i can i can change the, the index.php file uh, so you can actually change anything that you want okay and also if you get inside the netflix files okay as you can see right here you have you have actually the the, the netflix logo uh, logo pg image and also we have all of these uh, uh, css um, source code for the design okay so if you have actually a brief experience uh, uh, in the web development uh, uh, programming languages so you have the ability actually to change and uh, modify any of these source codes okay so let's get back right here so I am going back two steps until I will be in the main directory of the tool. So right now let's uh, let's uh, run and start this tool to um, uh, to find out what is uh, the options and what is the capabilities available for us inside this tool. So I will just type sudo bash social fish along with my password. And as you can see right here, uh, we have um, all of these available phishing templates. So, for example, let's try the snapshot one. So, I will select the snapshot number three. So, right now, it's telling us uh, uh, which uh, which option of these options that you uh, that you prefer actually to use. So, um, uh, as you can see uh, uh, inside this tool, we have uh, uh, completely different uh, options than the previous tools that we uh, that we tried before. So right now we have uh, we have a new service, okay, and this service is uh, is called uh, Servio.net, and this service actually it's completely different between uh, from the Angerock service and also from the Cloudflare service. So as I told uh, as I told you, try, uh, when you tr trying and uh, and installing a lot of a lot of tools that actually will give you a very a very good capability of using different um, different uh, tunneling options different uh, uh, phishing templates and also different hacking scenarios okay so for example let's try first one right here with the default port don't worry about support as you can see right now it's starting the php server for us this is a local web server on this machine but uh, but as uh, as I mentioned before, in the future we will actually uh, start using um, uh, 
a public a public server a cloud a cloud hacking server so we will not actually care about all of this okay so let's try right now this by by navigating to my machine and just typing the IP the IP address of my hacking machine on this port so actually we have using this port Okay, so right here we have we have the Snapchat um, phishing web page because actually we had to remove uh, remove the support right here. So at first I typed this, but uh, this port actually for the the serve you uh, service, but uh, for our local local web uh, web server it will uh, only the IP address of um, of this machine. Okay, so right now if the user actually typed typed anything right here and just click on login as you can see it will be redirected to the official snapchat login login page and if you come back right here you will you will see we have captured actually the the account username and the password and also all of these credentials has been uh, stored and saved inside the, the sites uh, directory for the snapchat uh, phishing type inside inside um, a file called saved.usernames.txt okay so right here it's actually one of one of the examples that we have to uh, to also try.